Good afternoon and welcome to the class of 2021 graduation ceremony. A prayer of invocation will be given by our salutatorian, James Ramet. Since we have gathered together here in this cathedral, let us take a moment to ask the saints from heaven to pray with us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. God of heaven and earth, you are the joy that entices our hearts and minds to seek wisdom, truth, and faith. Bless this gathering of the Altoff Catholic High School family and make us holy. May our actions here today properly reflect the accomplishment of this class and propel them to a life of holiness and success. We ask this through Jesus Christ, who is our risen Lord forever and ever. Amen. We invite our principal, Dr. Sarah Goss, to address the graduates. You may be seated. Good afternoon. On behalf of the Diocese of Belleville, the school board, administration, faculty, and staff, I would like to take the opportunity to welcome the proud parents, grandparents, relatives, and family of the class of 2021 who are in person or watching from home to the 57th commencement ceremony of Altoff Catholic High School. Before turning our attention completely to our graduates, however, I would like to recognize two extremely important and influential groups that have helped shape the lives of these students. These individuals have provided much of the instruction, guidance, encouragement, and affection which have enabled these graduates to obtain the level of success that they have achieved. I would first like to recognize the teachers of the Altoff graduates who are in attendance today. Thank you for everything that you have done to positively impact the lives of these young men and women on a daily basis. Your hard work, dedication, commitment, passion, and support make a difference in the lives of our students. Would the teachers please stand? Please join me in a round of applause. The next group of individuals have been with our students throughout every phase of their life, their parents. As this chapter in your child's life is coming to an end, a wonderful new adventure is just beginning. Today is the perfect day when you can take a breath and reflect on the past 18 years. You should feel good knowing that with God in their hearts, your child is on the right path. Thank you for trusting Altoff to help guide your child through this journey. Students, your parents have helped you in countless ways from changing diapers and helping you take your first steps, to cleaning your scraped knees and wiping your tears, to cheering from the sidelines at your events and your games, to giving up the keys to the car. Your parents have always been your number one supporters. They are so proud of you. Today would be a great day to give them an extra special hug and thank them for supporting you along the way. Because as much as this achievement is yours, this is, achievement is also of, of the people who care about you the most. They want you to do their best and to live up to your true potential. Would the parents in attendance please stand? Please join me in a round of applause. The 2020-2021 school year is the culmination of 13 years of schooling for the students graduating today. It was a challenging year to say the least. 
Words like pandemic, COVID-19, social distance, mind health, masks, six foot, and unprecedented were used more than ever before. These words, though, do not define your class. Instead, I choose words such as grit, resilience, and growth. I am so proud of each and every one of you, of how you've handled the uncertainty and the changes of this year with grace and positive attitudes. This helped to unite our school to show that we could do anything we set our minds to. Despite the challenges this year brought, 2021 featured outstanding accomplishments by our students in academics, fine arts, and athletics. The individuals seated before you put forth countless hours mastering the things that they, their teachers, and you, their parents and family members, hold so dear. They have provided strong leadership, taken responsibility for their education, and have acted with integrity and character throughout their years here at Altoff. As a result, we set aside this afternoon to honor and celebrate these young men and women. Graduates, this graduation is your official way to recognize your next stage of life. You are ready. Enjoy this experience. Dedicate yourself to making it great. Remember that you do not always have to follow the crowd. Do the right thing, even when no one is looking. Study hard and invest time in yourself. Do not be in too big of a hurry to grow up. These are great times in your life. Enjoy them and don't rest past them. Always remember to stay humble and kind. I know you are destined to great things. Always remember the values that you were taught at Altoff Catholic. Keep God in your hearts and continue to serve others. You will always be a part of our family. Once a crusader, always a crusader. Congratulations, class of 2021. On behalf of Altoff Catholic, I would like to present the valedictorians from the class of 2021. They are Matthew Fader. Matthew is the son of Eric and Lynn Fader. He attended St. Teresa Catholic Grade School in Belleville. He will be attending Missouri University of Science and Technology and will be entering the field of chemical engineering. Julia O'Neill. Julia is the daughter of Dave and Lynn O'Neill. She is a graduate of St. Peter and Paul Catholic Grade School in Waterloo. Julia will be attending Marquette University and will be majoring and entering, sorry, will be majoring in the field of nursing. Grace Schallert. Grace is the daughter of the late Kimberly and Joseph Schallert and the granddaughter of Robert and Diane Stroud. She attended St. Teresa Catholic Grade School in Belleville. She will be attending the University of Illinois at Urbana and majoring in chemistry. Good afternoon. As we are graduating today, on behalf of the class of 2021, I would like to give a special thanks to Bishop McGovern, our parents, our teachers, and the staff for making this day possible. It is with great honor and happiness that I am standing here today in the presence of the entire class this one final time. Class of 2021, each of us had our own reasons why we chose Altov whether it was because your parents attended Altoff, because you wanted a school with Catholic values, because you transferred in, or for any other reason. We are all a part of the Altoff Catholic family. We've made many memories as a class along the way to this cathedral we're gathered in now. I'm fond of most of them. The mock Romeo and Juliet sword fights and the Lindenwood football games of our freshman year the first Streamlab classes, and the forgiveness rocks we traded on sophomore retreat, the memories we shared at Camp Onda Sankar junior year, 
and even how close we've grown as a class this year. On top of all these memories, one in particular stands out. As most of you recall, during one morning during the first semester of our freshman year, a familiar voice came over the intercom. Teachers and students, please pardon this interruption. <laughs> All freshmen, please report to Heritage Hall for a brief meeting at this time. <laughs> I will not go too far into depth about what was said that day, but the meeting was a low point in most of our high school careers. For those of you who weren't present, our class was called the worst behaved and most immature group of freshmen ever to grace the halls of Altoff. <laughs> I think that very well could have been an apt description of us at the time. Mistakes were made our freshman year. However, a fact that many people seem to overlook in today's world is that mistakes are both a natural and an inevitable part of life. I disagree with the notion that errors are unacceptable. They're how we grow as individuals. Every single one of us has made mistakes at some point in our high school careers. We are bigger people as a result. We learned from our errors. We're no longer that rowdy bunch of incoming freshmen. We've become soon-to-be graduates who are ready to face the wider world in front of us today. Thank you. Good afternoon. It is in our human nature to dwell on the past and dream about the future but we oftentimes fail to live in the present moment. Here we are at our once-in-a-lifetime high school graduation, so soak this moment in and be proud of all you've accomplished. Our class will never forget Naraya's first place finish at state or the math team's exemplary performances, but what really made our time at Alto special over these years were the small everyday moments. These are the moments that have given us a forever family. Whether it be getting to go to the candy store every week, Joe giving out high fives every day, or even getting together as a class to go paintballing. These moments have made the class of 2021 who we are today. As we've seen over the past year, things that we once took for granted, like an in-person high school graduation, can be taken away just like that. So spending time thinking about what could have been or what is to come is not worth it. All we have is this very present moment, so let's make it a day to remember. The chances of us all being together in the same room again as a class are slim to none. As we all go our separate ways and start our new journeys, we'll use the life lessons that Altoff has given us. Mr. Bauer has taught us that happiness is not having what you want, but wanting what you have. And we will all use this as we face challenges down the road. As we have seen over the past four years, time flies by, and our future lives will be no different. By being rooted in Jesus Christ and Catholic values, we can achieve anything we set our minds to. As we graduate today, let's take all the little moments into the next of our lives and never forget where we came from. Once a crusader, always a crusader. Graduates. At this moment, I would like to take a second to appreciate how far we have come since we walked into Altoff Catholic for the first time four years ago, and how much we have accomplished since then. A perfect showcase of our academic accomplishments is shown through our own James Remet being a National Merit Scholar finalist. Our organizational skills and work ethic are shown through Miles Wilhelm and Drew Usurce's creation of YBL a basketball league that raised hundreds of dollars. As a class, we have grown and matured so much since our talking to freshman year, and I can't wait to see how that growth continues into college. Being adaptable to these changes these past two years with the virus has shown not just the people around us, but also ourselves, that we can overcome any adversity. With some of us going as far as Alabama and others staying as close as SIUE, I am so proud of all we have accomplished and all we will accomplish. Our class is full of future doctors, lawyers, nurses, broadcasters, engineers, businessmen and women, and everything in between. 
I want each and every one of us to make it our goal to try something new in college. Put yourself out there and step outside of your comfort zone, just as we were all willing to by sharing personal tokens on junior retreat. Be successful in all you want to do in school and life, but taking a cue from Mr. Keeley, fail spectacularly. Your failures are your first steps to growing and your best teachers. Your failures do not define you, but what you do to grow and learn from them does. Obviously, we all remember our scolding freshman year, but when we think of our time at Altoff, it is our accomplishments and good times as a class that we will remember. So as a class that has experienced many downs and failures, I want us to go out and not be afraid to make mistakes. We are the class that proves people wrong, so go out and be great in your successes and your failures. Thank you, and congratulations, class of 2021. At this time, I would invite Dr. Goss to the podium. Bishop McGovern, Mr. Birdsong, ladies and gentlemen of the school board, parents, relatives, and friends, it is my honor as principal, along with the faculty and staff of Altoff Catholic High School, to verify that these members of the class of 2021 have satisfied the course of study established by Altoff Catholic, the Diocese of Belleville, and the State of Illinois, and are therefore entitled to receive their high school diplomas. Graduates, will you please take your place? Ladies and gentlemen, please hold your applause until all members of the class of 21 have been presented with their diplomas. Agnes Shanti Adams. She will be t attending the Virginia Commonwealth University. Blake Bush Allen will be attending Montana State University. Robert Lucas Allred will be attending University of Alabama. Alice Abancini is an international student. Linnea Louise Christina Beasley will be returning to Sweden to complete her studies. Ty Curtis Beasley, attending University of Minnesota. Madison Lee Birdsong, will be attending Southern Illinois University, Edwardsville. Tyler Dale Blair will be attending Southwestern Illinois College. Caden Rudolph Baus will be attending Southern Illinois University, Edwardsville. Harrison Kinsing Brooks will be attending Southern Illinois University, Edwardsville. Angelica Marie Brown will be attending Southern Illinois University, Carbondale. Emma Elizabeth Brunworth will be attending Spring Hill College. Tori Ray Calvert will be attending Maryville University. Kylie Rose Chitwood will be attending Webster University. Andrew Parker David 
will be attending Southern Illinois University, Edwardsville. Anaya Nicole Davis will be attending Rockford University. Seth Abishan Degenhart will be attending Columbia College, Chicago. Nathaniel Owen Enriquez will be attending Missouri State University. Matthew Philip Bader will be attending Missouri University of Science and Technology. Amelia Lynn Fitch will be attending Southern Illinois University, Edwardsville. Connor Patrick Forehan will be attending Murray State University. Denea Marlene Gibbons will be attending Virginia Commonwealth University. Patrick Weller Gleason will be attending Southern Illinois University, Edwardsville. Mariah Janae Gregory will be attending Southwestern Illinois College. Madison Paige Goodlock will be attending Missouri State University. Caden Scott Hearn will be attending Southwestern Illinois College. Megan Riley Herzing will be attending Southern Illinois University, Edwardsville. Audrey Germain Hill will be attending Western Kentucky University. Rodney Joseph Hollis will be attending McKendry University. Avery Robert Irwin will be attending Tennessee Tech University. Kalia Anna Jerkadis will be attending the United States Coast Guard Academy. Anbra Kishe Jones will be attending Southwestern Illinois College. Emily Catherine Komishak will be attending Lindenwood University. Caleb Joseph Laramore will be attending Southwestern Illinois College. Philip Kyle Leatherman will be attending Morehouse College. Isaiah Gilbert Like will be attending Dominican University. Michaela Marie Lynch will be attending Southwestern Illinois College. Brittany Deasha McDonald will be attending Xavier University of Louisiana. Sydney Ingrid McFerrin will be attending Lane College. Madeline Ann Mena will be attending Webster, Webster University. Julia Elizabeth O'Neill will be attending Marquette University. George Harding Orlett will be attending the University of Dayton. Cecilia Louise Maria Ostoff will be attending Belmont University. James Joseph Paget will be attending Southwest Western Illinois College. Naraya Isola Parks will be attending Louisiana Tech University. Jessica Petit, international student. Leroy Perry, Jr., Southern Illinois University, Edwardsville. James Joseph Michael Remet will be attending Missouri University of Science and Technology. Boyd Charles Reeves will be attending Missouri State University. Hope Bridget Reeves will be attending Missouri State University. J. Anthony Regensberger will be attending Southern Illinois University Edwardsville. 
Layton Manning Roper will be attending the Grand Canyon University. Tyler Marquise Rupert will be attending Southern Illinois University Edwardsville. Grace Elizabeth Schallert will be attending the University of Illinois Urbana. Riley Elizabeth Ciron will be attending Southern Illinois University Edwardsville. Richard Laverne Smith will be attending McKendry University. Hannah Eve Stark will be attending Arkansas State University. Jacob Julian Valdez will be attending Southwestern Illinois College. Braden Leo Voss will be attending McKendry University. Travis Patrick Wade will be attending Bradley University. Mason Miller Wagner will be attending Purdue University. Jordan Eugene Warner will be enlisted into the United States Army. Miles Charles Wilhelm will be attending the University of Alabama. Drew Nicole Laurie Williams will be attending Eastern Illinois University. Elijah Alexander Williams will be attending the Recording Connection Audio Institute of Chicago. Andrew Thomas Usursa will be attending the University of Mississippi. Cal Joseph Usursa will be attending Southwestern Illinois College. Rebecca Lee Zimmer will be attending the University of Kansas. On behalf of Altoff Catholic High School faculty, I want to offer our congratulations, our love, and our pride in all that you have accomplished. Now, I would like the class of 2021 to please move your tassel from right to left as a symbol that you are now high school graduates. Graduates, please be seated. And now we move to the part of the program where we present our most prestigious awards of the year. First, the Father Daly Award. Father Daly was an administrator at Altoff Catholic High School for many years and left in 1991. This award is voted on by the entire faculty. It is to be presented to the senior who through love and dedication to the Altoff Catholic High School and generous giving of self most influenced the class of 2021 towards success, cooperation, and unity. I am pleased to announce the recipient, Hope Reeves. Please come forward. Next is the Bishop Altoff Award. Bishop Altoff was Bishop of the Belleville Diocese from 1914 to 1947. This award is voted on by the entire senior class. 
It is awarded to the student who through determination and dedication has most influenced the class of 2021 toward a more united spirit, which is Altop Catholic. I am pleased to announce the recipient, Naraya Parks. We invite His Excellency Bishop Michael McGovern for his remarks to the graduating class of 2021. Dear brothers and sisters, it's very good to be with you today. Uh, for this graduation ceremony uh, for the class of 2021. My congratulations to all the graduates from Altoff Catholic High School today. As mentioned, Bishop Henry Altoff was the Bishop of our diocese for some 33 years, and uh, the high school has been named in his honor. Uh, so I hope that all of our graduates, that you experience a healthy sense of pride and satisfaction as you graduate and complete secondary education. And in the name of Bishop Althoff, and in my own name, I offer my congratulations to you, to your parents, guardians, families, and to all who have supported you uh, during these four years of high school. Special thanks to Dr. Goss and to the faculty, the staff, uh, for providing a wonderful Catholic education uh, at Althoff, and that we look forward to the future filled with hope as we continue to provide uh, a wonderful education for so many young people in our communities. In 1982, when I graduated from St. Ignatius High School in Chicago, a Jesuit priest made similar remarks at our graduation. He spoke for about 10 minutes, and I always only remember a few lines. And so uh, I hope that you might remember today perhaps these lines that he spoke. The priest said, even when so many things we once considered important fade, what will endure is our love. Our love and our relationships will shine like diamonds into eternity. What made that line memorable for me then and now is the truth contained in it. When we think about the importance of love and those relationships, when we want to give ourselves to something that will endure, the love of God, we believe, is eternal and vital. It gives life. And our love is meant to be life-giving too, when we think about in the way that Jesus offers himself and gives himself away, uh, that we want to, in our own ways, to imitate that self-emptying love, that love that gives of itself. If there's an expression of love that's life-giving that I think is very much needed today in 2021, that I would like to mention to our graduates and to encourage them to think about and reflect upon, it's the love that we call mercy. For what is mercy? Mercy is love that is ready and waiting to forgive. Think about in the gospel when Jesus tells the, prodigal, the parable of the prodigal son, how the father is watching and waiting for the return of his son, ready to forgive him. Or think of when Jesus spoke the Beatitudes, blessed are the merciful, for mercy shall be theirs. Today we see places and events where mercy is hard to find. Even today, as we reflect upon conflicts in the Middle East and other parts of the world, but also closer to home, when we think about in family life, we think about sometimes in family life where people are estranged from one another, or we think about how, as you look to the future, many of you in college life, universities, just think about the importance of a love that is willing to forgive in dormitory life, classroom life, campus life. Pope Francis speaks frequently about the importance of mercy, asking for it from God and from other people, and the way that we are then called to share that mercy ourselves, to offer it generously, graciously, to those who turn toward us. So today, just a very simple thought that I think will help us to build a more peaceful future. 
when we think about and reflect upon even when so many things we once considered important fade, what will endure is our love, our love and our relationships that will shine like diamonds into eternity. May that love reflected in mercy uh, be yours. May you share it with our waiting world. And may we hear once again today as we celebrate with joy this great event of graduation, the words of our Lord Jesus, who declared to his friends, love one another as I have loved you. Congratulations. Mr. John Boats, our campus minister, will now lead us in a closing benediction. Please stand. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Let us pray in the words of St. Paul. I give thanks to my God at every remembrance of you, praying always with joy in my every prayer for all of you because of your partnership for the gospel from the first day until now. I am confident of this that the one who began a good work in you will continue to complete it until the day of Christ Jesus. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs>